Prince Sergei Grigorovich Volkonsky was a Russian major general and Decembrist from the aristocratic Volkonsky family. Prince Sergei was a grandson of Field Marshal Nicholas Repnin, a leading statesman of Catherine the Great's reign. The three brothers Sergei, Nikita Volkonsky and Nikolai Repnin, distinguished themselves during the Napoleonic Wars. Princess Zenakta Wolkonsky was his sister-in-law. Serge Wolkonsky, a theatre director and critic, descended from his sister. Wolkonsky was promoted Major General after the Battle of Grobiran and Battle of Denuitz. He was wounded in the Battle of Vela. He was the only general still in active service who took part in the Decembrist Conspiracy of 1825, an attempt to achieve liberal reform by preventing the accession of Tsar Nicholas I following the failure of the revolt. He was found guilty on sentence to beheading, which was eventually commuted to Katorga. Prince Volkonsky went to toil in the mines near Irkutsk, and spent 30 years as a political exile in Siberia. His wife Maria Reivskaya followed him to Siberia. Their tribulations and hardships have been seen, in a later Russian tradition, as the stuff of a high romantic legend. Nikolai Nekrasov described them in a long poem. Oleg Strizhanov played the part of Volkonsky in the 1975 Soviet film The Captivating Star of Happiness. On succeeding to the throne in 1856, Alexander II allowed Volkonsky and other old Decembrists to return from Siberia. In the late 1850s, Sergei Volkonsky travelled in Europe, where he met Alexander Herzen and other young liberals. Sergei and Maria spent the rest of their lives in the village of Voronki, which was owned by their daughter. The memoirs of Sergei Volkonsky were published in 1902.